Good morning, Fish on Alberta viewers. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, and I will be fishing Chain Lakes Reservoir today with Victor and Terry Ann. So let's get our stuff and get on the lake. Well, I'm here at the lake. I'm the only one here. It's a little windy, but not too bad. It's about uh, three or four degrees. It's definitely going to be a slow go today, as I have a condition known as diverticulosis, and it's acting up today. But a video has to get filmed one way or another, so uh, let's get out there. have expected anything less from chain lakes? I don't think so. Typical windy crap.
So the water is pretty murky today. Pretty milky looking. You can hardly see uh, five foot down there. Man. Yeah, I could barely see my split shot and my fly. Alright, so while the wind attempts to destroy this tent, let's take a look at the regulations for Chain Lakes Reservoir. The regulations for Chain Lakes Reservoir can be found in your Alberta Guide to Sport Fishing Regulations Handbook or online at albertaregulations.ca slash fishing regs. If you turn to page 16 in your handbook, you will see something that looks similar to the image on the screen. If you look under Eastern Slope Zone, Watershed Unit ES1, you will find Chain Lakes Reservoir listed below. Chain Lakes Reservoir is part of the Put and Take Trout Stocking Program, and if you look near the top of the page, you will see the regulations for the water bodies under the Put and Take Program. This means Chain Lakes Reservoir is open all year. Bait is allowed, although, fishing with bait fish is not allowed. You may keep 5 trout of any size, 3 northern pike of any size, and 15 yellow perch of any size, although, there is no evidence of northern pike or yellow perch in Chain Lakes Reservoir, for all other species, please see the maximum possession limits. Electric and gas motors are allowed on Chain Lakes Reservoir, but remember to keep boat speeds under 10 km per hour within 30 meters of the shoreline, and follow speed limits. At lower reservoir levels, the boat launch will not be accessible, and only hand launching smaller boats is possible. Don't forget to pick up a copy of Barry Mitchell's Alberta Fishing Guide for more information on Chain Lakes Reservoir. If you happen to encounter a bull trout, it must be released, remember, no black put it back. And if you encounter a Prussian carp, don't let it loose, please kill it, and either take it home to eat, or dispose of the remains away from any other water bodies. Propane just ran out. Man, that took me like an hour to get all this set up. Oh, yeah, she is empty. We got heat. So I did tie up a new uh, back swimmer pattern that we might uh, bring on a little later. But for right now, I got the Midnight Fire Leech on with the Hot Spot Pheasant Tail. And down they go. So one question I had for everybody who watches the channel is uh, in regards to these uh, fishing regulation videos. Um, I have pondered the idea of making a playlist specifically uh, lake regulations, river regulations, just the videos you see for the regulations. Um, I just want to know your thoughts and if you think uh, you guys would like that, having a, a regula regulations section. Uh, the one issue that I could see is the regulations can change from year to year and I hope to keep everybody up to date on the regulations but I also don't want to create any confusion um, with old regulations should they change something like they're changing regulations every year on some of the water bodies that I do fish so I was just wondering uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the idea of uh, making a reg uh, regulations playlist and uh, I'll see what I can accomplish. Um, oh, oh, I thought I just felt a tub on my rod. Ha ha ha. Well, whatever it is, he's gone. Just waiting for Victor and Terry in now. The wind is trying to destroy this tent one way or another. It is set up a little funky but this is how the wind decided I was going to set it up today so hopefully we can get some fish on camera I'm using flies I'm sure if I was using bait we'd have fish already but I'm a fly guy 
I will always be a fly guy. It's just what I do. Nothing wrong with using bait, I just choose to use flies. And if my catch rate is a little low, that's okay. I'm still out here doing what I love to do. And showing you guys how I do it. So I just tested the depth of the ice. I can't believe I forgot to do that. So, the ice. There we go. Right to the middle of the yellow. To the middle of the yellow. So that's about 17, maybe 17, 18 inch. It's thick enough for me. Alright. I think it's great. Yeah, come into your new home. Oh yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Alright. Home sweet home. Look at that. Alright, we gotta batten down the hatches again. Son of a See the drill down there? Oh man, there's actually water up on top of here. Yeah. I need to scoop on it. Oh yeah. Ta da! In the hole. Oh, you, in the hole? you son of a bitch. What? Oh. When we were moving shit out there, the tent pushed my <laughs> brand new pack. And why is there a fly on the ground here? Oh. It's mine. Oh man, that water milky. Damn, I guess I should go shut that door. <sighs> Once I get this fly dealt with. Alright, Terry Ann's got the first fish of the day. I got a net here. What do we got here? There you go. Push them through the hole. There, you there go. we go. Bye bye. <laughs> Good job. Good job. That was my first one. Nice. Right on, right on. Terry Ann's got another one here. See here. There we there go. go. All right. Maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should ask the the viewers and the commenters what kind of vehicles they like, domestic or foreign. Are you a Dodge, Chevy, or Ford guy, or are you a Nissan, Mitsubishi, and Toyota? Uh oh my! My heater's on the fritz. Honda's a good. Honda's yeah. Well, they got the Ridge Line, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like a truck. Colorado looking thing, or not Colorado? What's it? Avalanche. That's it. The Chevy Avalanche one of me. More truckish. I remember having that little tiny Chevy Colorado. You couldn't have spent too much on that. 
Not much. I think that was 20 grand. Oh my god, my. Come on. Come on. Oh! With the propane? Yeah, I'm giving her a shake, giving her a shake. Put your hands around and wrap your hands and warm it up. Yeah, I just had a freaking flare up. Squeeze the, squeeze the propane tank. Yeah, that's a brand new one. But I'm oh, freaking hot. Hot. Oh. Another pro I might have another propane tank. Well, I got two outside. I'm just dreading going outside. That, that wind is bad out there, boys and ladies. It's not right now. Okay, as long as I keep going like this, it's gonna putter. It's gonna putter. It's a lull. And there she goes. There she goes. She's done. You want dinner? You want me to grab your propane? Uh, I'll go there in a minute. You sure? Uh, do I got a line in the water? I do got a line in the water. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I kind of fell over there earlier when I came back from uh, watering the bushes. I uh, I almost took Victor out, gave him a heart attack. <laughs> What's happening? Like Indiana Jones running away from that boulder. <laughs> yeah, what you up to over there? Cold. Oh, yeah. Heat on me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> you just all tangled up in piss jugs and extension cords. Oh, <laughs> Am I off it now? It's a trap. <laughs> what the hell? What did happen? Okay, hold on. Oh, there. Yeah, she's caught down here. What the? the fish, the... What in the actual fudge <laughs> is going on over there, now? What happened? Foreign. Foreign. I agree. Foreign vehicle. Oh. They're hot! Mind you, some are foreign, but they're made like in the U.S. I think the, the Ford, or no, sorry, the Nissan Frontier is made down in the States. The Nissan Frontier, that made in the States? I think it is. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I think it is. I think even some Toyotas, or sorry, Hondas are made down there. Hmm. But regardless. <coughs> well, you notice that Honda's coming out with everything now under the sun. Microwaves, yeah. stoves, air conditioners. Yeah, they got, uh, like... Really? Yeah. <laughs> stoves? Yeah. yeah, they got stoves. They had a Honda stove at Best Buy the other day. Really? Oh, yeah. Weird. All right, time to... Time to pack her in. We'll probably get sued for talking about vehicles. <laughs> yeah. Or, Toyota's gonna come by and say, Hey, here's a Toyota. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for advertising. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you drilled the hole for the, the thing? Yeah. It melted out. Like it literally melted out of the hole. at Chain Lakes today. Terry Ann caught the only fish, but it was just as fun sitting around shooting shit. So uh, I guess keep watching. If you're interested in more Fish on Alberta content, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. You can also join our Instagram and Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And keep in mind, you can play a role in protecting fish and wildlife resources and our natural surroundings by observing the activity around you. You can report suspicious and illegal activity by calling the number on the screen or by visiting reportapoacher.com. When you report an incident you could be eligible for a reward for providing information on violations of Alberta's fish and wildlife laws. All the music in this episode was downloaded from Upbeat.io. Thanks for watching. So the snow that was on the ground that we used to slide our sleds in is gone. 
it melted in the duration we were here. That used to be covered in snow. So now we gotta pull the sleds on mud and grass. Oh, this is gonna be fun. All right, Victor, this is as far as we go for today. Let's set up camp, make for the summit tomorrow. Maybe call in a hella chopper. Oh, chain leaks, you fickle bugger.